My name is Savannah. I'm from Six Nations. I'm Mohawk and I'm 14 years old. This is a story of how my life has changed from fifth grade up until now. In fifth grade, I was going to a Mohawk immersion school, but I decided to make a switch to a public school to improve my English and academics. Little did I know this would be the first of many big changes. School was pretty good. I was making new friends and learning more. Soon after, my mom got a new boyfriend, and I thought he was great, because any 10-year-old would think any guy who came into their life and made their mom happy is great. But eventually, he showed his true colors, and he turned out not to be a very nice guy. He was constantly calling my mom and I down. My mom wanted to work things out because she would soon have a new baby with him. It wasn't a very healthy relationship. About three years before that, I started seeing my dad on the weekends. And by sixth grade, my mom had a disagreement with my dad, and I stopped seeing him. At this point, I was having some struggles at school with friends, which was common for girls my age, but the abusive environment at home was just getting worse. By then, my mom had another kid, so I had two baby brothers, which was very stressful for everyone in my family. I slowly got closer with my old friends, and school was getting better, but I hated my life at home. By grade 7, all my old friends switched schools and I had to make new friends. School was going good until my best friend turned on me. I still hated going home. I hated having to miss out on stuff because I had to take care of my brothers. I hated my life. My stepdad was still constantly calling me down and my parents were always fighting. In 7th grade, I started smoking weed. This was no problem until 8th grade when I switched schools again. I was scared all the kids would think I was some kind of stoner and not like me. And I was already a really shy, quiet person and had a hard time talking and getting comfortable around people. My new school was nothing like my old school. I was a res kid in a city school and knew no one. When I finally made friends, I wasn't able to go out with them because my mom was very protective of me and I had to take care of my brothers a lot. But at home seemed to keep getting worse and worse. My stepdad became more and more abusive and it seemed like my mom was always on his side. I felt like there was no one there for me besides my aunties and grandma. They helped me through a lot and gave me hope. My stepdad eventually got so bad, CAS had to come into my life and tried to make things better by making rules for me and my stepdad not to be alone around each other. Those rules weren't always followed, and my stepdad was still very abusive whether we were alone together or not. I'm not too sure what happened, but one day I came home and my mom said he was gone for good, which was true for the most part, but even though he wasn't around all the time, the things he said still hurt, and I had a lot of insecurities. It was my graduating year, so I had to make the decision of what high school to go to. I was either going to go to ACS with my native friends and be more around my culture or go to PJ with my non-native friends and lose a lot of my heritage. It was a decision that was harder than it seemed, but in the end I chose PJ. When grade 9 came around, I felt like I made a good choice. The classes were a bit challenging, but the girls were nice and the boys were even nicer. I had a lot of acquaintances but I wanted that one close friend like a best friend. I had good times and as the year went on I found that best friend I always wanted. We hung out, had sleepovers together all the time. I had a best friend and other great friends. Me and my friends made some great memories. At home things were getting better and my grades were all right. Life seemed like it was just starting to turn out until I got caught smoking weed. It was honestly the worst thing ever. My mom lost all of the little bit of trust she had in me. I decided to quit smoking, which is easy, except that's what me and my friends do together. And without that, we don't have a whole lot in common. Maybe now that I quit, I can really get to know my friends better, and they'll get to know the real me. Over the past three years, I've learned that change is hard, but it's necessary and important in order to grow. I had to go through some hard times, but the changes only help make a better me.